and welcome to Worship with Strathern United Church for Sunday, November 21st. This is Reign of Christ Sunday. It is the last Sunday in the church year. Next week, we begin our journey toward Advent, and we invite you to join us then also. My name is Catherine Wood, and with me is Nancy Tizik, and we will be leading worship this morning, and we will be sharing with you a song of faith. It is a document of a verbal picture of what the United Church is all about. It was published in 2006, and it is the third or fourth of the documents of faith that this church has had since its inception in 1925. We're delighted to share this with you. Um, it is in your bulletin, and parts of the service will be shared um, responsibly. So thank you for joining us. Welcome to worship. Good morning. The Lord will reign forever and will give his people the gift of peace. Let us join together in the call to worship. God is holy mystery, beyond complete knowledge, above perfect description, yet in love, the one eternal God seeks relationship. So God creates the universe, and with it, the possibility of being and relating. God tends the universe, mending the broken and reconciling the estranged. God enlivens the universe, guiding all things toward harmony with their source. God's grateful for God's loving action. We cannot keep from singing. Our first hymn this morning is a favorite, Fairest Lord Jesus in Voices United 341.
let us come together in prayer. With the church through the ages, we speak of God as one and triune, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. We also speak of God as creator, redeemer, and sustainer, God, Christ, and Spirit, mother, friend, and comforter, source of life, living word, and bond of love, and in other ways that speak faithfully of the one on whom our hearts rely, the fully shared life at the heart of the universe. We witness to holy mystery that is holy love. God is creative and self-giving, generously moving in all the near and distant corners of the universe. Nothing exists that does not find its source in God. Our first response to God's providence is gratitude. We sing of thanksgiving. Amen. Finding ourselves in a world of beauty and mystery, of living things, diverse and interdependent, of complex patterns of growth and evolution, of subatomic particles and cosmic swirls, we sing of God, the creator, the maker and source of all that is. Each part of creation reveals unique aspects of God, the creator who is both in creation and beyond it. All parts of creation, animate and inanimate, are related. All creation is good. We sing of the creator who made humans to live and move and have their being in God. In and with God, we can direct our lives toward right relationship with each other and with God. We can discover our place as one strand in the web of life. We can grow in wisdom and compassion. We can recognize all people as kin. We can accept our mortality and finitude, not as a curse, but as a challenge to make our lives and choices matter. Please join me in the prayer of confession. Made in the image of God, we yearn for the fulfillment of life that, that is life in us. Yet we choose to turn away from God. We surrender ourselves to sin, a disposition revealed in selfishness, cowardice, or apathy. Becoming Becoming bound and and complacent in a a web web of false false desires and and wrong wrong choices, choices. we We bring bring harm harm to ourselves and and others. others. This brokenness in human life and community is an outcome of sin. Sin Sin is not not only personal, personal, but but accumulates to become become habitual and systemic forms of of injustice, injustice, violence, and and hatred. We are all touched by this brokenness. The rise of selfish individualism that erodes human solidarity, the The concentration concentration of wealth and power without Without regard regard for for the needs needs of all. The toxins of religious and ethnic bigotry, the degradation of the blessedness of human bodies and human passions through sexual exploitation, the The delusion of 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 unchecked progress and and limitless growth that that threatens threatens our home and the earth. The covert despair that lulls many into numb complicity with empires and systems of domination. We, we sing, sing lament and, and repentance. And I con- we continue together with our assurance of pardon. Yet evil does not, cannot, undermine or overcome the love of God. God, God forgives, forgives and, and calls, calls all, all of us to, to confess our fears and and failings with with honesty honesty and humility. God reconciles and calls us to repent the part we have played in damaging our world, ourselves, and each other. God God transforms 
and calls us to protect the vulnerable, to pray for deliverance from evil, to work with God for the healing of the world, that all might have abundant life. We sing of grace. I invite you to join in singing Hope of the World at Voices United 215. We will sing the melody at number 491. song continues. The fullness of life includes moments of unexpected inspiration and courage lived out. Experiences of beauty, truth, and goodness. Blessings of seed and harvest. Friendship and family. Intellect and sexuality. The reconciliation of persons through justice and communities living in righteousness and the, and the articulation of meaning. And so we sing of God the Spirit, who from the beginning has swept over the face of creation, animating all energy and matter and moving in the human heart. We sing of God the Spirit, faithful and untamable, who is creatively and redemptively active in the world. The Spirit challenges us to celebrate the holy, 
not only in what is familiar, but also in that which seems foreign. We sing of the Spirit, who speaks our prayers of deepest longings and enfolds our concerns and confessions, transforming us and the world. We offer worship as an outpouring of gratitude and awe and a practice of opening ourselves to God's still, small voice of comfort, to God's rushing whirlwind of challenge. Through word, music, art, and sacrament, in community and in solitude, God changes our lives, our relationships, our world. We sing with trust. And our song continues. Scripture is our song for the journey, the living word, passed on from generation to generation to guide and inspire that we might wrestle a holy revelation for our time and place. From the human experiences and cultural assumptions of another era. God calls us to be the doers of the word and not hearers only. The spirit breathes revelatory power into scripture bestowing upon it a unique and normative place in the life of the community. The Spirit judges us critically when we abuse Scripture by interpreting it, narrow, by interpreting it narrow-mindedly, using it as a tool of oppression, exclusion, or hatred. The wholeness of Scripture testifies to the oneness and faithfulness of God. The multiplicity of scripture testifies to its depth, to testaments, four gospels, contrasting points of view held in tension, all a faithful witness to the one and triune God, the holy mystery that is holy love. We find God known in Jesus of Nazareth. And so we sing of God, the Christ, the Holy One embodied. We sing of Jesus, a Jew born to a woman in poverty in a time of social upheaval and political oppression. He knew human joy and sorrow so filled with the Holy Spirit was he that in him people experienced the presence of God among them. We sing praise to God incarnate.
our song continue. Jesus announced the coming of God's reign. A commonwealth, not a dominion, but of peace, justice, and reconciliation. He healed the sick and fed the hungry. He forgave sins and freed those held captive by all manner of demonic power. He crossed barriers of race, class, culture, and gender. He preached and practiced unconditional love, love of God, love of neighbor, love of friend, love of enemy. And he commanded his followers to love one another as he had loved them. Because his witness to love was threatening, those exercising powers sought to silence Jesus. He suffered abandonment and betrayal, state-sanctioned torture and execution. He was crucified. But death was not the last word. God raised Jesus from death, turning sorrow into joy, despair into hope. We sing of Jesus raised from the dead. We sing hallelujah. By becoming flesh in Jesus, God makes all things new. In Jesus' life, teaching, and self-offering, God empowers us to live in love. In Jesus' crucifixion, God bears the sin, grief, and suffering of the world. In Jesus' resurrection, God overcomes death. Nothing separates us from the love of God. Please join me in a new creed, Voices United 918. We are not alone. We live in God's world. We believe in God who has created and is creating, who has come in Jesus, the Word made flesh, to reconcile and make new, who works in us and others by the Spirit. We trust in God. <coughs> we are called to be the church, to celebrate God's presence, to live with respect in creation, to love and serve others, to seek justice and resist evil, to proclaim Jesus crucified and risen, our judge and our hope, in life, in death, in life beyond death. God is with us. We are not alone. Thanks be to God. As you ponder these words, we invite you to meditate with the music provided by Shannon.
our song continues. The risen Christ lives today, present to us and a source of our hope. In response to who Jesus was and to all he did and taught, to his life, death, and resurrection, and to his continuing presence with us through the Spirit, we celebrate him as the Word made flesh, the one in whom God and humanity are perfectly joined, the transformation of our lives, the Christ. We sing of a church seeking to continue the story of Jesus by embodying Christ's presence in the world. We are called together by Christ as a community of broken but hopeful believers, loving what he loved, living what he taught, striving to be faithful servants of God in our time and place. Our ancestors in faith bequeath to us experiences of their faithful living. Upon their lives, our lives are built. Our living of the gospel makes us part of this communion of saints, experiencing the fulfillment of God's reign. Even as we actively anticipate a new heaven and a new earth. The church has not always lived up to its vision. It requires the spirit to reorient it, helping it to live in an emerging faith while honoring tradition, challenging it to live by grace rather than entitlement. For we sing to be a blessing, for we are called to be a blessing to the earth. We sing of God's good news, lived out, a church with purpose, faith nurtured, and hearts comforted. Gifts shared for the good of all, resistance, resistance, to the forces that exploit and marginalize. Fierce love in the face of violence. Human dignity defended. Members of a community held and inspired by God. Corrected and comforted. The instrument of the living spirit of Christ. Creations mending. We sing of God's presence. We sing of God's mission. This is the time now where we thank everyone for their many gifts in this congregation, for their time for their talent and for their financial donations. And we are grateful for this. Let us come together in prayer as we say together, we are each given particular gifts of the spirit. For the sake of the world, God calls all followers of Jesus to Christian ministry. In the church, some are called to specific ministries of leadership, both lay and ordered. Some witness to the good news. Some uphold the art of worship. Some comfort the grieving and guide the wandering. 
Some build up the community of wisdom. Some stand with the oppressed and work for justice. To embody God's love in the world, the work of the church we requires the ministry and discipleship of all believers. In grateful response to God's abundant love, we bear in mind our integral connection to the earth and one another. We participate in God's work of healing and mending creation. And let us sing together Voices United 960, the Lord's Prayer. church receives, consecrates, and shares visible signs of the grace of God. In company with the churches of the Reformed and Methodist traditions, we celebrate two sacraments as gifts of Christ, baptism and Holy Communion. In these sacraments, the ordinary things of life, water, bread, point beyond themselves to God and God's love, teaching us to be alert to the sacred in the midst of life. Before conscious thought or action on our part, we are born into the brokenness of this world. Before conscious thought or action on our part, we are surrounded by God's redeeming love. Baptism by water in the name of the Holy Trinity is the means by which we are received at any age into the covenanted community of the church. It is the ritual that signifies our rebirth in faith and cleansing by the power of God. Baptism signifies the nurturing, sustaining, and transforming power of God's love and our grateful response to that grace. Carrying a vision of creation healed and restored, we welcome all in the name of Christ. Invited to the table where none shall go hungry, we gather as Christ's guests and friends. In Holy Communion, we are commissioned to feed as we have been fed. Forgive as we have been forgiven. Love as we have been loved. The open table speaks of the shining promise of barriers broken and creation healed. In the communion meal, 
wine poured out and bread broken, we remember Jesus. We remember not only the promise, but also the price that he paid for who he was, for what he did and said, and for the world's brokenness. We taste the mystery of God's great love for us, and we are renewed in faith and hope. Please join us in singing, Rejoice the Lord is King, Voices United, 213. hope in God. We sing of a life beyond life and a future good beyond imagining, a new heaven and a new earth, the end of sorrow, pain and tears, Christ's return and life with God, the making new of all things. We yearn for the coming of that future, even while participating in eternal life now. Divine creation does not cease until all things have found wholeness, union, and integration with the common ground of all being. As children of the timeless one, our time-bound lives will find completion in the all-embracing creator. In the meantime, we embrace the presence, embodying hope, loving our enemies, caring for the earth, choosing life, grateful for God's loving action. Amen. <laughs> 